Scientists studying the gene editing tool CRISPR-Cas9 have found a problem. The technology, which promises to revolutionize the way we treat certain diseases, such as HIV and cancer, may not be as benign as previously thought. The technique uses ribonucleic acid molecules to guide the Cas9 protein to a defective part of a genome, where it acts like molecular scissors cutting out a specific part of the DNA, replacing it with a corrective segment. But Alan Bradley, at Britain's Wellcome Sanger Institute, says it may also inadvertently lead to DNA mutations far from the repaired site. If you're going to use this in a clinical context where you're editing billions and billions of cells in a human, then the chances are that hundreds of millions of those cells will suffer a type of damage that you didn't know before. And the potential of those cells to then become cancerous or to have some other problem um, is, is probably quite significant. The researchers warned that some of the mutations seen in their study were too far from the target site to be picked up with standard analysis and testing methods. This is very much a, a point of you find what you look for, you don't find what you don't look for. So, so far the assays have really focused on a few hundred base pairs of, of, the, of the DNA around the target site, so where the cut is taking place. Um, but it ignores the three billion bases of the rest of the genome. Bradley says knowing where to look for these changes can make scientists more secure in their assessment of the safety of CRISPR technology and could spark renewed interest in developing other alternatives for gene editing. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.